Hello, 8th graders. Here are the instructions for the rest of your writing packet here, so hopefully this can help you out. You should have, at this point, gone through pre-writing 1, read through this. You should have come up with your potential topics here for your discussion, or for your paper. You should have then gone to pre-writing 2 and uh, worked with this mind map software, which should have been uh, pretty easy. And then you should have attached your lovely uh, idea of mind map down into this blood bank. All right, what we are going to do is we are going to use that mind map to allow us to kind of work with some other things as we go through. All right, pre-writing three. Pre-writing three is going to ask us to start organizing our ideas. All right, so we have all of this idea, all of these ideas that we kind of laid down here. What we're going to have to do in the next section is we're going to have to put them into paragraphs, essentially. All right, plan out what our paragraphs are going to be about. Now, I say that you should have between six and seven paragraphs in your research paper. That number is just an approximation. If you have more, that's fine. If you have less because you have... Uh, or if you have more, probably that's fine. If you have less, you're probably a little short on content. But here's the idea. What you want to do is you want to lay out the paragraphs that you need to talk about. Now, when you are thinking about these and where you're going to put the information that you put on your mind map, you want to make sure that you're thinking about what way will best help you describe what is happening. So if your topic is something that is complicated, you probably want to do the easier parts first so that you can build on that understanding. If there is something that really, really, really needs to be understood first before you can even move on to the next section, that should be one of your earlier paragraphs here. If there is something that like kind of is the last step, that should be down here. Um, if yours doesn't necessarily stack upon it, then you kind of want to just organize it in terms of importance. You usually want to put the thing that is the most important either down here in the sixth paragraph or in the two paragraph. Because these middle paragraphs, those are the ones where people generally tend to read uh, less critically. All right. So think about the information that you put up here in your mind map and write it into the paragraphs that you plan to put. So for example, let's say that you're doing your paper on, uh, let me choose one from up here. Let's say that you did your paper on, um, let's do, um, how do viruses move from person to person? Why not? Just because that one's relevant. So let's say, for example, this one, your first paragraph, if you're going to talk about how viruses move from person to person, is probably going to be just what is a virus, right? And that's probably going to take you an entire paragraph just to explain what a virus actually is. What does a virus look like? What does a virus do? How do viruses get there, right? And that can even be a couple of paragraphs. So let's say, for example, your first paragraph is what is a virus? How does it function slash work, maybe? And then you're going to talk about the second one. And then what is a virus? And this is going to be what is a virus too? And you might say something like, where do they come from? And this is all based on your research that you have. So think about the way to add or think about the way to structure your paragraphs. If you are someone that's like uh, adding or deleting paragraphs, an easy this is the easy way to add paragraphs. All you have to do is right click, and if you press insert row below, it'll add one below. If you want to remove one of these paragraphs, you can say delete row, and it'll delete it. You just have to change the numbers here. All right. So all you're trying to do is organize your topics. The next section I'm going to ask you to do this week is pre-writing 4. Pre-writing 4 essentially has us start to go out and gather good research about things. Right? Uh, if you remember, we talked about this before, but we talked about the idea that um, you can use Wikipedia if you find something interesting, but you just need to find its source. So what you're going to do is you're going to look through some sources. Uh, we've talked about the whole URL thing before, so the thing up here in the, in the top box, you want to look for .govs or .orgs. Um, and you always want to be making sure that you're looking for the person or company that is publishing the information. That's your key, is to look for, hey, who is putting this information out? Uh, what you will be asked to do with each of these sources that you find is this down here. You're going to have to write a citation, all right? Your citation should look just like this. Last name, first initial, month, year, article title, website title, URL. Now, that is for most websites, but not every single website. If you have a website that is a bit unclear, or you're like a little confused about the citation, uh, the first thing I would like you to do is I would like you to look at this link right here. If you open this up, it's going to take you. I get it to. Yep, it's going to take you to a reference list. It's going to take you just to a whole bunch of citations for different things. And if you click over here on the side, right, so it's books. You can look at. Um, Auto visual media, so that would be like videos, other non print sources, other print sources, electronic sources, all of this stuff is on here. Look through here first, and if you really can't find it, then you can contact me and I'll help you out with it as well. All right, what you're going to do for each source that you find is I want you to do three things for each source. Number one, I want you to just straight up paste the website URL. So that just means you're going to take the literal website from the URL and copy and paste it. My screen's a little small for me to show you this, but I'll shrink it down a little bit. If you look, 
If you remember, the URL just means you're going to take you're going to take this thing up here at the top. You're going to copy this thing up at the top, right? That's what you're going to work with the URL. You're going to copy and paste it right here. On the right side, what you're going to write about is just one sentence, one idea about what the source has info on. All right, that could be general. That's just so later when you start doing your actual research or when you start structuring your research, you can look back and say, okay, I remember that, so I know what to look for there. And then finally, last but not least, you're going to insert your full citation below. This is a citation that would go on your bibliography, which is the last page of your paper. And all you're going to do is follow that pattern that I told you above. All right. So you put the author. In this case, it didn't have an author, so I just used the World Wildlife, Wildlife Fund. The year, the article title, where it came from, and then finally the URL website. All right. That's the same formula that is right up here. I just made one example for you. And remember, if yours is one that doesn't necessarily follow an easy pattern, check this bad boy out right here. All right. Uh, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to find six different places to use as a citation. They can all be website-based. They could be a book if you have a book about something that's relevant. Whatever it is that you find, keep it here. Now remember, not every source is reliable. Not everything is good. So what you have to do is you need to make sure that you verify any site that you go to who is publishing it. So look for an author. Look for a company. Look for anything that tells you that uh, anyone who is standing behind the information saying, yes, this is true. All right. Hopefully that clears, or hopefully that's pretty clear for you as you go through. Uh, your goal for this week is to do pre-writing three and pre-writing four. Keep on working hard, and we'll be getting going as we go through. All right. Bye, guys.